cowboy or something like would be able to step up just because uh, you know commission and rules and, and that process and stuff. Yeah, I know uh, we kind of don't even really know what Rob's status is right now, so I'm, I'm assuming it's too soon to try to figure out what happens next. Right. But what do you think should happen next? I mean, do you feel like rebook this? I mean, you're carrying that belt. Do you feel like he he shouldn't be a champion anymore? What what do you feel should happen next? Well, I'm the champ for sure. You know, like I said, in my world, in the wrestling world, a guy shows up and makes weight for some reason don't want to forfeits the match, then the other guy is the winner. I'm the winner. I'm the champ. And that's how it should be. You want to defend against the winner tonight with uh, Izzy and Anderson? Or what should well, come next for you? Well, um, you know, hopefully Rob heals up great. Wish him a speedy recovery. And then after he heals up, I can give him a crack at my title. I like it. There were some concerns this week about you that maybe you had staff or something like that. I mean, can- I did have some some complications with staff and, and stuff this week, but none of that was going to keep me away from fighting. How, how frustrating is this? I mean, like you said, you've traveled all this way to Australia. Like, when you hear that news, like, what, what emotions do you go through? I was gutted, man. I was gutted. And, you know, I started to cry when they told me. I mean, all I can think of was waking up at 5.30 a.m. To, to go do sprints and, and, and all the hard training and all the ass whoopings that I took this entire camp. like. This this kind of training takes years away from your from your life. I feel like you know what I mean. And, and, and this was the hardest camp I ever had in my life. And so for for them to be able to take for them to rip this opportunity from me, I ain't gonna have it, man. I'm not going home empty-handed. I made a promise to my people that I was gonna come up with some hardware. And here I am. I'm gonna go home with the belt. Hopefully Rob uh, heals up, give him a crack the title, and then. Um, you know, well, I'm going to be watching that Israel and Anderson Silva fight. You know, I mean, they're, they're the ones next in line. Can you say how this impacted you financially? I mean, have, have you worked Oof. that all out? Because I know you came down here early, and I'm sure spent a lot of money to do that. Guys, I sp- man, I spent over 50k in this camp, and it's a lot of money. But Dana said he was going to take care of me, so it's all good. Are you getting any your Reebok money, your fight kit money, anything? Do you definitely- I have no idea. Do you have a message for the fans that we're expecting? Well, you know, that's one of the things that I talked about when I was in media scrum in L.A. I want to bring legitimacy to the, to, the, to the division. You know what I mean? All this interim stuff, all this interim crap, champions pulling out. Uh, the guy hasn't fought in over a year. You know what I mean? So I, I want to bring legitimacy to the division, be able to defend my belt as many times as I can. Is Whitaker officially stripped, or are you an official champion, or have you heard anything from the UFC? Got this right here, right? I guess <laughs> you're officially stripping Whitaker. <laughs> I got this right here on my shoulder, right? <laughs> what do you want next? You want the fight with Whitaker again, or you take someone else? You know, that's up for the, that's up to the UFC, um, whether they want to rebook the fight or have me fight the number one contender. Kevin, in your mind, what does being looked after mean, coming from Dana? Oh, well, hopefully he takes care of me well. You know, we didn't talk numbers or anything, but I mean, I, 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 I spent a lot of money, like I said, in, in this camp, and I expect to be fully uh, recompensed. Uh, how do you say it? Compensated. Yeah. So, Callum, just to be clear, um, who, when, when did you receive the belt? Who handed it to you today? No one handed me nothing, man. I earned this. Was it the UFC team when you wake up? Did they present you with this? And... I earned this right here, man. I showed up, man. I showed up to the fight, made the weight. I showed up to fight. He forfeits, I win. I'm the world champ. Are you sure that's official, though? <laughs> <laughs> what does that say right there? After the main event tonight, are you willing to face off with the winner? And Absolutely. If the UFC right wants that belt, yeah. and they want me to face the number one contender, Dana was real, real adamant about that fight being the number one, number one contender fight. Absolutely. How quick of a turnaround do you want? Like, to fight? Man, I'm ready to go tonight. Yeah, <laughs> you know yeah, what I mean? Be... <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready to go tonight, man. I, as soon as possible. I'm ready. Were you planning on staying a couple days, or were you going home tomorrow? I was going to go home tomorrow. Are you, so you yeah. still, yeah, still go home tomorrow? Yeah. yeah. Is that April 13th card? I think it's already been mentioned this morning. How far away is that? About, what, 10 weeks? 10 weeks? 8 weeks. That's possible. It's possible. Yeah, we'll have to sit down and talk to Dana about the details of when we can book the, uh, a fight or when or with who. We'll have to see.
How does that work into your training now then? So if you don't have the powers of when you're going to be fighting next, how do you yeah, I mean, now, there's still a lot of questions to be answered, and, you know, on my part as well. You know, I, I don't know the answer to that. Thanks, Gob. Thank you, guys. Thank you,